Hey everyone, so I'm going to show how to set up your brand new 2022 MSM Fire HD8 or HD Plus. The one we have here is the HD8 Plus, uh, but this will also work for the HD8, uh, which I have here, which I will set up after this video. Uh, so first thing you have here is a welcome, choose your language. Uh, we're going to do English in the US because that's where I am. I'm going to actually turn up, I uh, mean not that big, turn up my font size here. Then you hit next, log into your Wi-Fi, there's a whole bunch of Wi-Fi near me, holy cow. After you are connected to your Wi-Fi, uh, it'll ask you to register your, your Fire device into Amazon, uh, so put in your Amazon account information. All right, then next, I'll give you a few options here. So you can have your location services on. I'll keep mine on. I'll save photos and videos uh, to Amazon Cloud. I'm going to turn mine off. Save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. I'm going to turn mine off as well. But you can keep yours on if you want to. Next is a little video here talking about your Fire device. Uh, personally, I'm going to skip this, but of course, feel free to watch it. It gives you some good information on your device. And then after that little video there, uh, which you can actually skim through if you want to, uh, you can kind of bypass it. Uh, it will ask you if you want to make this a kid's device. Uh, it's going to be my own device, and I am not a kid, so I'm going to say not now. Next, it will ask you if you want to set a screen lock, pin, password, or not now. Then after that one, I'm not going to show. Uh, it asks you if you want to join Prime. Uh, if you already have some your own information in there, some credit card information in there, it'll pop up automatically, uh, which is why I'm not gonna show you guys that step. Uh, but then you can join Prime, very nice and simple, or you can skip it. Then I'll ask if you want some free movies, books, and other stuff here. I uh, don't know why it says Sausage Party. That is a funny video, uh, movie, funny movie, but very, very inappropriate. Next will be apps and games. Again, free apps and games here. Uh, some of this, not all of this, but some of this is stuff I've downloaded on my other Amazon uh, devices like PUBG, uh, Colorful Budget, stuff like that I have on other devices. Then after that, it'll bring you to Amazon A. Uh, I'm not going to have her on. I have her on my other devices. Uh, when you say her name, I have like four devices, you know, asking me uh, things. So I'm going to disable her. <laughs> um... But of course, she's very useful if you want her on your device. I just don't need her on all my Amazon Fire devices. Uh, so then you are golden. Uh, so you have it all nice and set up. You do have a few different screens. You have for you, which is just uh, basically they're saying, hey, these apps will be good if you want them. Uh, they are kind of geared towards you somewhat at least. Um, some of them are weird. Uh, but it should be kind of off of what, if you've done things on Amazon, uh, off of your previous purchases. Uh, then, of course, you have your home screen. We'll come back to this in a second. Then you have your library. This is what always confused me because I do not have any of this stuff on any of my stuff. But there you go. Uh, so then you have a search bar up top here. You have recommended, recommended uh, apps and movies and videos and stuff up here. Uh, then you have, of course, a whole bunch of Amazon apps. You have Shop Amazon, which will bring you to basically Amazon.com, uh, but the app version of it. You have actually a pretty good web browser, which is Silk. You have the Amazon App Store, which is not so good. Uh, there are some good things on there. I think it has like Netflix and a few other streaming devices, uh, streaming apps on there. Uh, then you have Prime Video, Amazon Kids, a bunch of utilities. And actually, they took away the, which is kind of disappointing, they took away the word processor and a few other uh, useful office type things, apps on there. Uh, they got rid of that. Uh, Amazon Offers, you of course have Kindle, Amazon Music, Audible, your photos, which is anytime you take pictures with this, it'll go onto your photos there. Uh, Amazon A, you have Goodreads. Whole bunch of Amazon stuff that you can sadly not get rid of. So anything that I could get rid of would have an X. None of these you can get rid of. 
uh, you have your email, which is a basic email. So you can add in any email you have, say Gmail or whatever. Uh, your cameras, your settings, and then your files. So that is what you get. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. Let me know if you bought either the Plus or the non-Plus version. Uh, I'm just curious. Uh, the Plus version is here in the U.S. 120 bucks, and the non-Plus is 100 bucks, uh, which has gone up only $10 in the last two years, which I don't think is too bad of a deal. Uh, just like the Fire 7 went up by 10 bucks as well. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Stay tuned for a whole bunch of videos to come. Uh, I'll be doing a crazy amount of videos. Thank you all very much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate you. Hope you all have a good one. See you guys next time. Goodbye.